The conflict between Russia and Ukraine is a territorial dispute and one that the U.S. cannot fund for as long as it takes. Well, those were the words from likely presidential candidate Ron DeSantis earlier this week. Now, for that eminently reasonable take on the matter, the D.C. Warhawks unleashed on him. Governor DeSantis, who I don't know, do this like super soft peddling of the language, I find very, very troubling. It was troubling to hear some on the hard right not so much not condemn Putin so much as excuse him. The Trump wing of the Republican Party um, has decided to turn its back on democracy. They have tremendous affection for dictators. Do these lunatics even hear themselves on the left? What happened to being the anti-war party? They've all sold out. Now, while there was some criticism from the GOP establishment as well, the positions Ron DeSantis and Donald Trump are defining, are, you know, have, are defining the future of the Republican Party. Now, according to the polling outfit Echelon Insights, the GOP is trending away from viewing Ukraine as vital to U.S. interests. And perhaps, more interestingly, younger Republicans are much less interested in an assertive U.S. foreign policy in general. Joining us now is John Ratcliffe, former director of national intel under President Trump. John, for DeSantis to say it's a territorial dispute and we can't stay there for as long as it takes, both of those positions are correct as, a, as, as, as factual matters, are they not? Well, Laura, listen, let's start with, I talk to all kinds of Republicans, and all Republicans agree on this, that this is an unnecessary war. Uh, Putin has invaded Ukraine twice, both times Joe Biden uh, has been in the White House. And so I think where Republicans are disagreeing is, this is Joe Biden's mess. Now, how do we fix it? How do we get out of this? And what you hear Ron DeSantis and Donald Trump and others saying is really that there's a crisis uh, in leadership here, that there's zero confidence in Joe Biden as commander in chief. He's had zero success. And so there's zero confidence in him. You know, he uh, you know, he, he was a disaster uh, as commander in chief in Afghanistan. And then now let's look at this a policy or strategy with regard to Ukraine. First, it. Uh, it, it started out as there wasn't going to be a war because he was going to deter Putin. Then he was okay with a small incursion. Then, when Putin actually invaded, uh, he said, essentially, I'm willing to surrender Ukraine by giving Zelensky a ride out of town. And now he's gone 180 degrees the other way and saying, this is a fight to the death. That's not an inconsistent strategy, Laura. That is schizophrenic. And, and what you hear Republicans saying is, as he toggles back and forth between, b b between strategies that he doesn't have, he can't execute on any of them. And that's where I think Republicans yeah, but John, uh, really see the problem with, with Ukraine. But, John, I think it's bigger than that. I think this language, as long as it takes, I mean, that's a nice sentiment. But name, name the recent, you know, conflict that we've stayed in, quote, as long as it takes. Af Afghanistan? Iraq? I mean, I guess Grenada, right? Vietnam? Uh, what, what, right. That's just I mean, ridiculous. I mean, if it goes on 25 years is, and, and Putin is able to get money from China and keep it going for 20 years, it, they really think the American people are going to support that? Is Lindsey Graham and all these guys out of their minds? Absolutely not. And what, what folks like Lindsey Graham think is, look, let's just keep sending more uh, weapons to Ukraine and eventually they can it's win. Ridiculous. But this goes back to the point of can, can Joe Biden lead an international uh, a group, uh, uh, our allies to, to victory in, in Ukraine by supporting Ukraine? And the answer is uh, increasingly Republicans say no. He's had no success. He's, he's been an abysmal failure. He's been bullied by Russia. He's been bullied by China. He hasn't stood up for America. And to put uh, that much confidence in a Biden administration as commander in chief uh, really is just uh, is, is not resonating with Republicans. John, great to see you tonight. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.